couldn't run either. But my grandmama would sit in her chair and say, Eddie! Eddie! Yes, ma'am. Come here. <laughs> Hear me. She had that authority over me, never leaving her seat. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. You don't have authority when you leave your seat. So, but Bishop, well, how do I know when I leave my seat? When you worry, when you're fretting, when you're sitting up last night. Last night, I got a call, and last night, I got a letter, and I was sitting there reading, and it's like, oh, my God. And I'm sitting up here, and I'm thinking, and I'm trying to sleep, and I'm having this battle. I'm having this battle, because I have to preach this today. And I'm sitting here, I can't even sleep thinking about this. And then the Lord said to me, son, where you seated? Where you seated? I said, I'm with you. He said, then why are you trying to miss sleep thinking about stuff that you are over? Even though you can't figure it out, you'll be able to call it to you, discipline it, and send it away from you. You are a king, and what a king does is summon. Watch this. You didn't hear me. Let me tell you about a king. A king will summon his enemies and tell his guards to go where they have to go and bring the enemy before me. Don't kill them, just bring them before me. I'm here to tell you, you got guards called angels and you stay in your seat and you can call your angels to go get your enemies and set them in front of you. And then you look at your enemy and tell you, I'm going to pronounce judgment over you. You will no longer wreck my life, mess my life up. I am putting an end to you right now and binding you in the name of Jesus. Be gone and cut the head off of that thing. this I'm bound through I'm bound through I'm bound through hot dog it what's this and that is the reason why touch your neighbor say stay in your seat you're far above tell him you're far above whatever that thing that you was dealing with when you came in this sanctuary it is not over you she is not over you he is not over you. You're seated with Christ. What are you worrying about? The birds will fly and they don't even worry about what they want to eat. The lilies of the field. How much more does your father consider you? Please understand the battle ain't yours. It's God. And he's already given the victory. You ain't got to fret nothing. Stay in your seat. And whatever enemy you got, you summon your enemy right up in front of you. And you too. Some of you got your children under attack and you know what's attacking them. You ain't even got to go up to their room. You stay in your seat. Tell God, I got to talk to you. I got some trouble in my way. And I'm about to summon it in here. But I'm going to put an end to this demon in my house and in my bloodline. I ain't got to speak to it. I'm going to put it in the atmosphere. I'm going to get God. Whatever happened to them praying mamas and daddies that will go through the house and declare an order in the house. Whatever happened to those kings and queens that understand I got prayer power. What's this? We become more educated and bigger fools because we think we can figure our way out of hell. You can't figure your way out of hell. You just need to be out of hell. You need to be where Christ is and there ain't no hell there. What's this? Ah. What's this? I'm through. Two things. Ah, can I give you these two things? Let me give you these two things. Watch, watch this. Our problem is in the second verse of Colossians. It says, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Say, set. Set, set your mind. Set. Watch this. Our problem is that, please hear this. We operate from our condition and not our position. Oh, oh, oh. Watch this. Our position is high above. And to understand our position with him, we must understand the basic principles of covenant. And I'll deal with that on Wednesday. But I want you to hear this. Watch this. Watch this. 
Set your mind, put yourself in such a way. That's, I think King James said, set our affections, which is our soul, which, which contains our mind, our will, and our emotion. I'm about through. It is usually here. It says set, but here's where we are. Everybody came in here this morning, a good many of us came in here set on the way we feel. We've set on our emotions. That's why we got to have praise and worship. We got to have praise and worship. We can't go straight into the word and all that. We got to have praise and worship because we got to get all these uh, minds that were set on. I left the roast in the oven. I got to get home and do this. And I got, oh, I don't, I got to go over Aunt Bessie. And I really don't want to go over Aunt Bessie. Oh, God. Look at all these people at church today. It's really going to be hell getting off this lot. Well, let me sit in the back row so I can get out first, push somebody down. Is Bishop here? Coming out mighty late. Who's preaching today? Ooh, look at that girl. Ooh, oh. watch, watch, watch this. Watch this. Most of us live like a thermometer. A thermometer only reads what's in the atmosphere. The Bible said, this is what it said. It says, therefore, fifth verse, put all, put to death your members which are on the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, passionate desires, covetousness, which is idolatry. <sighs> Eighth verse, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, out of your mouth. What was this? Here we are. Wherever you go, whatever's going on, you react to it. If lying's going on, one tell a lie, you tell a bigger lie. Wherever gossip is going on, I'm gossiping. You ever notice birds of a feather? You know the gossipers of new birth always pulling you aside to give you the 411. Don't turn your head and look at them and expose them right now. But you hate to see him coming and some of you love to see him coming because you want to know what the scoop is on the pastor and deacon so-and-so and elder so-and-so and all that and your life is really messed up. Laziness. Uncommitted. Lust. Lust. Now let's tell the truth. I seen you dance in the Holy Ghost real stylish up in here. But in the spirit, I ain't talking to you, but I'm talking to some folk in here. You was at the club last night and the dance you were doing. Touch your name, he right. Tell me he right. That hurt my back right there. You rub my back, honey. I just can't do that like I used to. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Let me move that. Jealousy. There's some angry folk in here. And you know what? Angry folk hang with angry folk. There's some mean booger bears. Now I'm gonna say this, I know it ain't true for us, but there's some churches I've been to had angry ushers. Our ushers are sweet, but I didn't see combat ushers. You gonna sit here or you ain't gonna sit? Well, my baby's down. I don't care what's down there. You sitting in this seat. Are you getting up out of here? I'm an usher. <laughs> H 
hated it. We got all this stuff. So here, here's, here's the saints. Anger, jealousy, lust, laziness, gossip, lust, anger, lust, laziness, <laughs> lust, lying, jealousy, lust. What's this? What's this? Whatever is going on, we blend. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I, I go to the games, Falcons and Hawks, and, and I see my members. And sometimes they catch them on the big screen, you know, and put the music on. And I'm like, I don't know their name, but they're on row five, third seat over. What's this? I have folk, I'm walking through the stadium or something like that, and it's like, Bishop! And they got two beers in the hand. And that Phillips Arena, you know, they sell a little wine stuff, they got the little wine. Well, Bishop, hey! Now, when I was half saved, I used to hide the liquor from the preacher. I was least shame. It ain't no bishop. It's like bishop, like this bud's for you. <laughs> and I'm tempted. It's like, err. And they was at church that morning. We, what's this? All you real fine graduates from college who are here with masters and PhDs, your bachelor's degree and you're going on for a double PhD. PhD means piled high and deeper. You can imagine what's piled up. You're praising the Lord now, but you got a luncheon tomorrow with business folk. You ain't gonna praise them at that table because you're standing with more PhDs. And all you pile high and deeper folk don't pray in public because now your religion is personal. <laughs> Uncommitted, lazy, lying, Lustful, angry dog. What's this? You know you ain't this holy around folk. When you leave here, you're going to be what you be at where you be being so you can be accepted there. But then you have to wear a bumper sticker and a t-shirt to say you're saved. Because God said, set, say it. He said, deliberately become a thermostat that you set your affections on things above. That if you do that, which means, see, well, I want to tell you something. A thermostat, the other night, I set the thermostat because I came in and I was hot. And then I got in the bed, but I set it too low. And it got real cold. And I kept sitting there, laying there. I was awake saying, when is it going to turn off? I wish it turned off because I couldn't get out the bed because I didn't got myself in this little place. But I wanted the thermostat to change. And the thermostat said, I'm set. And ain't nothing going to be anything different than what I'm set at. That's what God wants us to be. Whatever atmosphere we go in, we don't go on a sliding scale, but we are set, which means that everything in this environment gonna have to become like I am, or it's just gonna have to be in hell, which means that while you at work and you work with all them unsaved folk, you need to come in there and stop trying to act like them, but know that I am a thermostat and I'm about to set the environment in this place of righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Watch this. There's a whole lot of happy saints. 
God ain't looking for happy saints. Happy saints dance when they get a car. Happy saints dance when they get something. Happy saints when they don't get nothing, they are sad, weary, worn, and sad. But God says, I need some thermostats that set themselves on things above. That even if they only got a dollar in the pocket and just bus fare, they ain't having a beauty party. And when they show up, they got joy. And you know what? When you have joy, you make happy folks sick because you are sitting up there and they're uncomfortable because they can't figure out why you shouting why you happy why you got joy and they try to what, what happens folk will try to take your joy but you tell them tomorrow listen baby I'm not happy I'm joyful and this joy I have the world didn't give it to me and the world didn't take it away and you ain't gonna take my joy in a matter of fact I'm a thermostat and in a moment you're gonna get the same joy I have or you gonna leave this office because you can't stand God in here what's this what's this I gotta finish this Wednesday you are called to set the environment college students college students you're not there to be what they say you are to be and see if you can drink the most have the most sex have the most this God assigns you paying your way in school for you to set the atmosphere don't show up in church on Sunday and then go back and do everything they do they got to see something different why don't you be the one that changes the whole environment of a school why don't you be the one that they sit up and they try to be like instead of you trying to be like them what's this I got one last point three minutes I'm I'm concerned about the youth and I keep saying this over and over but I want you to hear this our young people dress like prisoners the sagging pants and all that came from the prison look which they don't understand what they're confessing is that I am a prisoner on death row and they say it's the style but they don't understand it is determining where they go that is the reason why when Lazarus came up out of the grave God told Laz told them to take off his death clothes which means that when God transforms you into the new man he's telling you to take your old man stuff off watch this real quick Romans 7 I'm gonna read one thing and show you something that I'm dead as long as and I'm preaching this until Eddie I don't care about you I'm I'm trying to murder Eddie I'm trying I'm 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 trying to reckon myself and every time I, I I just start to come alive again I got to kill myself and remind myself that that part of me is dead that's why I keep giving you communion because just as soon as you walk out of here something that you like gonna walk by you and you're gonna say, oh Lord, I was dead for a moment. <laughs> what you laughing at, Peasy?